What is polymorphism? I'm going to show you how you can use polymorphism in Python. Let's pretend we're going to make a game Pac-Man. We are going to let sprites move over the screen. So I'll start by creating a class for Pac-Man. And right now it does nothing. I create a list with sprites. And in this list, I'm going to put an instance of Pac-Man. At this moment, what I can do is I can loop over the list. And for each item, I would like to print a character. Let's say I'm going to print the character for Pac-Man. When I execute the code, what we will see is that the program prints a Pac-Man character. So let's add a ghost. I'm going to create a class for ghost. And I'm also going to pass here. So it's an empty class. And I'm going to add an instance of ghost to the list. Now when I execute the code, what will happen, of course, is that we get two Pac-Mans. We have two sprites, but for each sprite we just print a Pac-Man. Now, what can we do here? We could, of course, check We check if the instance is a Pac-Man. And in that case, we print Pac-Man. And otherwise, we will print a ghost. This will work. When I execute the code, we now get a Pac-Man and a ghost character. But you can already see that if we get more characters, that I need to add another class here. And I would also have to change my if else statement. So this is kind of fragile code, because if I have to change code in one place, I also have to change it in another place. And that might be a problem. So this is a perfect example where polymorphism can help us. Because what would happen if we just add a function here in the, in the Pac-Man class, and we let this draw function print the Pac-Man character. And we do the same thing for the ghost. Let me remove this class. So the Pac-Man class now has a draw function that draws a Pac-Man character and the ghost class has a draw function that draws a ghost character. So what we can do now is we can just call that draw function on all classes. So I remove this switch here. And when I execute the code, we see that we get the same result. So the responsibility of drawing is now in the classes. And since, they, since both classes have a method called draw, we can just call draw on all sprites. So now it is very easy to add another class. Let's add another class for fruit. And the fruit class will print a fruit symbol. We just pack it here in our list and we're done. So when I execute the code, we now see that the fruit symbol is also printed. If you ever see a piece of code that has a select in it, like a switch statement or an if else, and it checks for types of objects, then you might have a good candidate to use polymorphism. I hope this helps you.